All right, one of the first things you want to do is get everything lined up, ready. Drug, water, your needles. One of the first things you're going to do, which I already did, was wash my hands. Pop the tops. What we like to call scrub the hubs. So take your alcohol pad, wipe everything off. Um, this is supposed to be theoretically at room temperature, um, your leukine, when you reconstitute it, even though it's a refrigerated product. Easiest way to warm that up is stick it in your armpit for like five or ten minutes. And that'll warm it right up. Open up your syringe. This one, because we got a new pharmacy, the syringe, uh, the needle that you need is actually on the syringe ready. Take the cap off. Draw back to the 1 ml mark. There is a slight um, bevel to the tip, so you're going to bevel up, go in at a 45, oops, go in at a 45, and then straight down at a 90 degree. Push air in, pull out. You can even draw back further than the 1 ml mark. Tap down so you can get all your bubbles up. Push back up into the vial a little bit. And then draw your plunger back to the top of the line. The top of the um, black plunger is at the 1 ml mark. Pull out. Same concept. Bevel up, 45 to 90 degree angle. Um, Always hold it down. You don't want to do this. You're going to end up stabbing yourself. Slowly push in. You can pull back some of the air because you want to replace. Swirl it around a little bit. You can recap this while you're waiting because you want to make sure this is in, in good solution. And it's not you see little white chunks on the bottom, not in solution. You can roll it gently because this has a tendency to foam up. Because you don't want foam, you want drug. Lighting's not that great here. You just want to make sure there's no big chunks of, of white powder. And there's none. You're going to take that same needle that you used to put the water in, draw it back to approximately one with air. Already was. Push up and get as much drug out as you possibly can. You might have to manipulate the vial a little bit and suck that vial dry. When you turn the vial back over, there should be hardly anything left in the vial. The important thing is, is that you're getting all 250 micrograms of the drug. Not necessarily that it's one ml. Cap it. Notice I haven't pushed it up yet. Take the old old one off. If you have a sharps container, put it in. If you don't, put it in like an old pop can, pop bottle. Take your 27 and a half inch gauge needle, put that on. Take the cap off. Because now we're gonna cue this up so that all the liquid fills. There was a negative space up in here, there was a bubble up in here, and up in here. Now you notice there's a bubble down here. Just in case we lose some drug, I'm going to put the cap back on. I'm going to pull back because I don't want any drug to come up through the needle. I'm going to hold it by the plunger bottom, and I'm going to tap to get all the bubbles up. If you do this, you're going to get a sore finger. 
pointless. Hold on to the barrel, which is what I'm doing right here, not the plunger. Take your cap off. Cue it back up. Oops, lost a little drug, but that's okay. Because there's still some up in the needle. And did it perfect. We're at 1 ml.